Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn one of the easy important concept from commercial mathematics that is unitary method. We are going to learn the quick method of solving this unitary method. This concepts are given in the GPS exam 2022 syllabus. So let us quickly move into the concept now. Unitary method means the method in which we first find the value of unit or single quantity and then use it to find the value of any required quantity. Okay, so let us move into the sum now. Cost of 15 pens is rupees 360. What is the cost of 8 such pens? So to calculate the cost of 8 such pens, let us find out cost of 1 pen now from the given value the price then we can easily find the cost of 8 pence therefore you can write in the statement form like this cost of 15 pen is equal to rupees 360 therefore cost of 1 pen is equal to rupees 360 divided by 15 and we get answer as rupees 24 means cost of 1 pen is rupees 24 therefore cost of 8 such pens are is equal to 8 into rupees 24 which gives us rupees 192 this is the answer actually if it is asked for the descriptive type you can write all these assumptions the given you can write and then explain but if it is asked for multiple choice there is a easy method to write this you have to categorize them okay like column method you have to write the same quantity in a column like this here check out the sum cost of 15 pen is rupees 360 the first statement you can write directly pen how many pens are the number of pens 15 how much is the amount rupees 360 then they have asked to calculate what is the cost of eight such pens okay so we can calculate first one pen now for one pen how much it is we need to calculate so you can write below the pen only for one pen you can write we are going to find the cost so x is equal to question mark cross multiply 15 into x is equal to 15 x 1 into 360 is 360 x is equal to 360 divided by 15 therefore x is equal to 24 this is cost of one pen okay therefore cost of eight pen is 8 into 24 which gives us rupees 192 without writing all this you can directly find the answer like this okay even you can skip these steps also if you want for the reference you can write otherwise in the question if you are able to assume what it is then you can directly calculate it okay next if a cost of a dozen identical articles is rupees 672 what will be the cost of 18 such articles so you can write this shortcut method cost of a dozen identical article dozen means 12 so article numbers are 12 what is the amount rupees 672 what will be the cost of 18 such article so without moving to one such article or one unitary method you can directly write this number also this is another method okay in one step only we will get the answer so for 18 article you have to find the price so write this question mark with x so cross multiply okay when you multiply don't write the product here you can write as it is so that it will be easy for cancelling cross multiply 12 into x is 12x this cross multiply 18 into 672 right as it is therefore x is equal to 18 into 672 divided by 12 then you can simplify with second table this can go and then on simplifying this you get the x value rupees 1008 so this will be the cost of 18 such article here we did not find for the one article we have directly gone to the 18 article because they are of identical article identical the same okay this is the answer on moving to next type of sum, Rohit buys 10 pence for rupees 150 and Manoj buys 50, 14 pence for rupees 168. Who got the pence cheaper? Okay, so let us write this rough part now. Rohit and Manoj. Uh, Rohit buys 10 pence for 150. So for 10 pence for 150 rupees he buy he bought. And what is the cost of one pen? Let us find out. Okay, cost of one pen is equal to x question mark here cross multiply 10 into x is 10x y is equal to 1 into 150 is 150 so x is equal to 150 by 10 one step i have skipped here you can directly write this also if it is for unitary single 
so as we solve for more sums we will come to know okay idea 150 by 10 that is nothing but rupees 15 keep it aside this value next for manoj case he he bought 14 pence for 160 rupees 168 rupee so what is the cost of one pen one is equal to that is y you can take it as so y is equal to 168 divided by 14 you get when you cross multiply and then rearranging them the answer is rupees 12 so which is cheaper rupees 15 or rupees 12 to 12 rupees the cheaper price therefore Ro Manoj got the pen in for the cheap rate okay next a car running with uniform speed covers a distance of 96 kilometer in three hours how much distance will the car cover in five hours running with the same speed okay so however the lengthy question may be you if you know to write the simplified form then it is easier for the further calculation let us check it out now a car runs running with a uniform speed covers a 96 kilometer in three hours so you can write the time here in hours in three hours it covers 96 kilometer how much distance will the car cover in five hours so below column method this hour in five hours how much kilometer it can car so that is x is equal to question mark cross multiply x into 3 hour is that is nothing but 3x is equal to 96 into 5 x is equal to 96 divided by 96 into 5 divided by 3 and solving this you get answer is 160 kilometer okay so this is the answer for this question easy right actually this kind of questions may might be asked in the general paper also okay sometime it, this will be useful for other competitive exams and also for TET central TET also this type of questions will be asked very easy questions only next 18 men can make 90 identical tables in one day find how many men will make 20 such tables in one day so if it is for the descriptive type how do we write in one day 90 tables are made by 18 men in one day one table is made by 18 by 90 men therefore in one day 20 tables are made by 18 by 90 into 20 which is equal to 4 men shortcut method how do we write in the column method 18 men makes 90 identical table so men how many numbers 18 and how many tables are made 90 tables are made find how many men will make 20 such tables now the count of table is given 20 such tables how many men men will do x is equal to question mark cross multiply x into 90 is equal to 18 into 20 when we get x value only x value x is equal to 18 into 20 divided by 90 same answer as that of this you will get then on simplifying this you will get 4 as the answer ok we shall move to another sum a loaded truck travels 18 km in 25 minutes if the speed remains the same how far can it travel in 5 hours ok so let us write the numerical values a uh, loaded truck travels 18 km in 25 minutes so write here 18 km in 25 minutes if the speed remains the same how far can it travel in 5 hours so in 5 hours how far it can travel distance we have to calculate and this hours we have to convert into minute the uh, SI unit must be the same ok the unit what we consider must be the same here it is in minute so you can convert 5 hours to minute so 5 into 60 minute don't multiply here it will be easy for cancelling further so you can keep as it is cross multiply so x into 25 will be remaining x into 25 i have skipped one step then which is equal to 18 into 5 into 60 and when you make x a subject of the formula x is x this 25 goes to the denominator so it is understood which cross multiply will go to the numerator along with the x whatever the numeral we have that will go to the denominator on cancelling fifth table you can cancel here 5 ones are 5 5 are 25 again further 5 ones are here and 60 also goes by then you multiply answer is 216 kilometer okay 
so this quest type of questions are very easy if it is asked for the multiple choice you can use this shortcut method and to find provided that here they should give they are identical table identical object must be similar objects okay and the speed remains the same like that it should be of similar okay well, that word you have to check it out before writing thank you